There are plenty of fans of both fighters here. They're shouting true sensation. The nickname of Samuel Antri away to Second our left. Down, and Cartwright has supporters here from Ellesmere Port as well. This eagerly anticipated British title fight. The title vacated by Josh Kelly, who's in the Antwi camp. And who's going to start the better here? I think it's important for Antwi just to make Cartwright feel something really, really early. Cartwright gets into his rhythm. He's a, maybe the sharper of the two we see there with that sharp little left hook. He gets into his rhythm. He's going to be a hard man to stop. He'll build energy in his work. But the weight of the shots from Antwi, even though the, the knockout percentages are very similar, he is heavy handed. Jab going early, Antwi needs to try and draw mistakes out of Mason Cartwright. Both fought twice since their unsuccessful uh, previous British title challenges, but it's really been building towards this. Antwi didn't always feel it would necessarily be it this way, but. Here he is. Not like looking for a little bit of early success, but a good response there from Antwi. He's going to be careful there, Cartwright. He's just got to take a step to the side when he gets Antwi off the rope. Good left hook there. there but Cartwright responding. Yeah, Cartwright got through with a really good right hand, followed by a left uppercut come left hook. Cartwright took it well. Start from both men, big right hook there from Antwi. Yeah, good timing there from Antwi. Just not committing to that left hand jab there, Cartwright. Look for the same shot again, Antwi, but missed by some distance. And Cartwright landed the uppercut, Antwi responding. They come out of the blocks very, very quickly here, both of them. They're yeah, both really committed, you know, they see the target, they're going for it, aren't they? Good body shot from Cartwright. There from Cartwright, yeah, and then again with the right hook this time. What a start this is. No sense at all of feeling each other out here. Oh, lovely shot there from Andrew. Just leaning out of range. Exchanging right hooks to the body. Two good shots from either man. Better from Carroll, I get a bit of rhythm to his work, but what a shot there from Antwi. Put a screw shot through the centre of the guard there. Closing seconds then of an exciting opening round. Left hand there from Antwi. Cartwright was rocked. Antwi piling on the pressure. Opportunity for both of these fighters, but they didn't let it get in the way, did they? They both went for it, George, from the start. No, grip. Really gripping round and a great start from Antwi. Deeks his toes into the floor and punches long and loose with his long arms. Had great success there in the first round. And Cartwright spoke about that in the build-up. Very aware of those long Antwi arms of that reach. Knew that would be a threat. And that's why he's not throwing the jab. He's trying to get his foot a little bit too close. Cartwright. again with that success to the body and it, it amplifies it by the way he just skips out of distance there's that jab from Mason Cartwright I mean it's easier said than done but what Cartwright needs to do is close that distance he can't afford to be at that long range which suits Antwi where he can pick the shots out he's placing at the moment he's placing the right hand behind the elbow then the long jab comes in then he varies up that right hand, it might come over to the chin. And he's trying to steal the space with the feet there, that car, right? But he's, he's just taking too many jabs at the minute. And that's what I've said before tonight, that double jab's so important to close the distance. Get you there a bit quicker, a little bit safer, because the, the jab occupies your opponent. And at the moment, Antwi can't miss with that right hook to the body. You can see the reddening already on the body of Mason Cartwright. I mean, and again. 
I'm sure neither guy saw the fight before, but you certainly don't want to be giving away any free shots behind the elbow. <laughs> Anthony has landed that four or five times in this second round. Good response though from Cara, and that's the right uppercut left hook after taking that shot. Waiting too long here, Cat. Well, that's better. From a pin entry in that corner. Long entry finding a way through, snaking that long right hand. Yeah, we can hear Cartwright's corner screaming instructions at him. He, if he keeps creeping forward, he's in a safer position, believe it or not, than when he just stands still. As soon as he stands still, entry has. He's got the long arms and the reactions to just pick up any shot he wants at the moment. You can judge the range easier, can he, because of that. See so Cartwright closing the distance there and landing a hook, but Antwi looking fairly in control there. Antwi is the one who's done the damage so far. Yeah, he has. He's turned the, he's turned the, the, the little attacks here of Cartwright quite well, hasn't he, Antwi, for the most, for the most part. Looking for that right hand, Antwi, and again the right to the body and right to the head. He's finished the second round as well as he did the first. Right, come on. Second out, round three. This title previously held by some great names of the sport. Morris Hope and Harold Graham, Chris Pyatt, Rob McCracken, Ryan Rhodes and and Liam Smith, wonder what he's up to at the moment. <laughs> Josh Kelly is watching on with interest. You can just see him there at the back of the picture who vacated, but is here very much cheering on Samuel Antwi. Just that roll in his body here, look at Cartwright, the right hand. Shake of the head there from Antwi. Good left hand there from Cartwright. But again, Antwi responding so well. Best moment in the fight, fight there for Cartwright. Trying to press the action, trying to force mistakes from Antwi. I think he's realised he's going to have to let his hands go a little bit more. He can't play the single shot game with this guy. This guy in front of him is too sharp. Antwi is too sharp. He's to close the distance and start punching combinations. But if he gets lower, like he did just a second ago, and fired out of a crouch, that gives him more of an opportunity to land in the form of some of a safer position. A lovely short right hand there from Antwi, as Cartwright did try and close the distance. Little bits of success from Cartwright, but Antwi again. Banging away there, Antwi. The first short right hand there from Antwi was fantastic, just before he whipped that body shot across. Antwi looking for that uppercut as well and having success with it. Tuffing it out here, one car, I give him his credit, but he's walking on the shots. And Antwi's just so controlled, isn't he? Picking his shots really well here under pressure. And winning it at range and winning it up close as well, Antwi. The moment he's winning pretty much every battle in that. Yeah, he punches so loose, whipping shots. Good uppercut in there from Cartwright, but to land that one, he's taking plenty. Good body shot from Cartwright there. The volume of body shots, though, is from Antwi. Cartwright, I mentioned at the start, calls himself a gym rat. His fitness is being stretched and tested here, but he's standing up well so far. And another good body shot from Cartwright. Like we ever thought Cartwright wouldn't commit. A little bit low there with that left hook. Oh, uppercut there from Cartwright, found a way through. But then Antwi firing back off the ropes. Great action here. Fantastic action to end the round, both with success. Let's get back to boxing smart and picking them shots out at long range. Gary Logan in the Sam Antwi corner, Round twice four. fought for the British title, stopped by Ensley Bingham and then by Jamie Moore.
wants so much more for his man here. Feels like we've had 10 rounds worth of action packed into three here. What a remarkable night it's been so far. Both our first fight, that incredible win really for Lyndon Arthur, and now this, and there's that short right hand again from Antwerp. He just throws a little faint, you can see it, it's clear to see Antwerp, but it just offsets Cartwright a little bit, and that gives him a chance to, to let the, the hand go freely there, Antwerp. Cartwright trying to get up close here, but again, both landing. Cartwright's head comes a little bit there, and he misses, you've got to, you've got to bang to that chest. And you've got a guy moving his head like Antwi is at the minute. Right hand there from Cartwright. I love that from Cartwright, the referee didn't say stop, didn't say break. He just took full advantage of it. Short left hand now from Cartwright, that rocked Antwi back. But the roll before he threw the punch is, is the method he needs to, to use more often. Yeah, Matt Wright I mean, is warming to the task here, George. Yeah, he really is. And it, this might be his sort of fight. This might be the fight that suits him most. You know, Antu punches loose and fast and hard, but then punches more taxing. Is he going to be... Is his engine depleting quicker? The pace has been so tough here. You feel like... Something's going to give at some point. Good shot there from Cartwright. And the response to the body from Antwi. And then to head. Yeah, lovely right hand there from Antwi. He really turned the shoulder in that shot. So they both landed real volumes of quality shots here. shot to the body and then the right hook to the head from Antwerp and again. Dare I say it though, it looks like Cartwright's got used to the weight of the shot here from Antwerp. What a great clean shot from Antwerp. Shot right hand again there from Antwerp, a good body work. Cartwright's forced him to work at the pace he maybe he doesn't want to right now. Cut there from Cartwright and again, but Antwi with a great response. Landing three shots and a huge left hook there, and Cartwright looks up steady. What a fight this is! Out there from from Cartwright. Second down, round five. It's only round five. Said at the start, they both know this could be the last chance. They both know what a chance it is. And they determined to reach out and grab it here. And that is how the fight has gone so far. I'd say Antwi fairly clearly ahead, but Cartwright very much still in it. from Antwi, and then a right hand, the first scoring shots of this fifth round. See, Cartwright, when he's moving forward, every again, he's moving his head and his shoulders, and that, and that just slows down the work of Antwi, but when he stops, he stands a bit upright, and that's where he becomes a target to hit, especially with that right hand. Neither of these men have a reputation as being huge power punches or anything like that, but surely, eventually, it's a cumulative power. But if you're landing the shots as clean as, well, let's be honest, both guys are, they then anyone can go at any point. Antwi just loses his feet a little bit. His feet, are, they don't quite stay under him when he's punching. If, if he manages to sink his toes into the canvas when he lands on them big shots, Cartwright might not be able to survive that. He, he, he has no base to push off, does he, really, when he throws? Yeah. But Cartwright is it's dangerous for him if he's if he starts creeping back or even when he stands still. He's actually safer, believe it or not, 
when he's creeping forward. Takes a sting off of Antoine Sharks, and a lot of the time he doesn't think about punching. He's thinking about what's coming back at him. Good idea. Look, look confident in there still. Yeah, just trying to be a little bit too tricky here. A little bit cute here, Antri, and Kevin okay, doesn't get tagged. The pace is noticeably slowed here. I suspect it might pick up in the final 30 seconds or so of this fifth round. Good right hand to the body to start that combination up there from Antwi. Shot. Really good booming shots from Antwi. Little warning there from Mark Lyson. Now they go to work and Antwi looks for the head of Cartwright again. It's been a feature of this fight, great finishes to rounds. Do you feel special, George? Oh, absolutely, Dave. Uh, I won one once, but I didn't win it enough time to take it home with me, so I had to Check hand it, it back big grudgingly. I wish I'd had the chance. Two former world champions. Alongside me here tonight in Barry Jones and George Groves. The British title up for grabs here between these two. And what a fight it's been to this point. He needs more of that as Antwi starts to jab to the body. He's just too tall for me, Cat, right? That, that's all, that's his, that's his main problem for getting close to the tight. He's a little too tall. There's a slip there from Mason Cartwright. the better of the, the fast pace beginning as the pace slows who's going to have the, the better of it at this speed at this pace yeah Anthony took his start off the gas a little bit this round Just keeping that out of range distance but with it he's kept quite like quiet doesn't he, for the most part as well stand his back Mark Lyson indicates it was a push Showboating to follow from Antwi, which not everyone's going to love. Back behind that jab. Oh, good shot. Have a little move there from Antwi. Yeah, he's in his flow state now, Harry. He's enjoying his work. The cat was head hunting. He gets a little bit like, I keep saying the same thing. He gets low in it and just targets that the middle of the chest. Will hit something. Antwi effective off the ropes here now. Looking for that big booming uppercut. Oh, he slashes with that right hook to the body, Antwi. It's an orthodox, the lateral movement there of Antwi was effective, isn't it? Really hard with him to read. Halfway stage. Second I'm going to ask you the same question in a second, seven. George. Yeah, even though all the rounds are like, quite a lot of rounds are really competitive, I just I think Anthony's just a, a, a street ahead. I really do. He's a really, really big, big lead. And George? Yeah, same. I've got Ant I've got him winning every round so far. A lot of the rounds have been competitive, especially rounds three and four. But I think the better work throughout the good from Anthony, the eye catching shots. And even there was one round, wasn't there? There, with I, th I thought Capital was winning it. And he had a third at the air, Antwi, but it literally was about six 
quality shots that landed, and, and that was enough. And they weren't long shots, they were all heavy, direct, clean shots. Cartwright must know he needs to have a spectacular second half of the fight here. He's acquitted himself really well, but he needs more. He needs to drag more from somewhere. Well, that won't be a problem for Cartwright, dragging stuff out to these as tough as they can. He'll keep coming forward, he'll keep trying to apply the pressure here on Samuel Antwi. Oh, good replica there from, from Cartwright. And the left hook. He'll, get, he'll keep getting that every now and again. Antwi, he loses his legs, he might come square, he might try and switch. Leaves himself open and Cartwright will land something. Something that usually success comes and up cut through the middle. That's nice work there from Lansby. I think what Lansby does really well, usually that shoulder pushes off with it. He'd be more with the referee once already. Yeah, he creates that distance for him, Barry, doesn't it? And also uses it as a, a defence. It's like to hide his chin behind at times. He's using that position to land those shots behind the elbows of Cartwright more damage to the body another thing that Antwi has done is almost every time Cartwright's had any success Antwi has responded with more even here in these exchanges there's the accuracy is a little bit better from Antwi and a little bit more, more weight on the shots Cartwright's still piling forward bravely he's letting his hands go Good work there for him, but some of the shots have been giving him a little bit of strength. Shoulder there, Andrew. Losing stages of round number seven here. Left hook there from Andrew. at it so for the British title quarters. here no quarter asked at all and much of it up close up. entry with Wrong the quality way. at range entry's put a couple of dents in Cartwright but still Cartwright responds Cartwright's powers of recovery are extraordinary as well a couple of times he's looked a little shaky great left hook there from entry but he soon bounces back, Cartwright. I, I think we knew that about him, though. He's shown that in the past, though. However, however much you think that it's a hard fight, that he's always going to bring it. They're never, never going to quit. Antwi unloading again there with a big left hook. Flurry of punches there from Antwi. A little bit of acceleration in his, in his work as well there, moving for Antwi. And left hook again, shaking the head from Cartwright. I think that's been the difference here as well. You know, just uh, obviously got the long reach and, and, and that sort of stuff here, and too. But also, always, always in his flow, as George, always relaxed he is. More angles to that, the throw and land the shots from. Yeah, and and you hit the day earlier, Barry. You just wouldn't see Cartwright coming a little bit lower. I think you always have success against them guys. Don't target the chest or just drop the head down, so you're not always giving them that conventional target to aim at. And also, when you slide it from a lower position, the vision when you look up is a much, you have much, much more things to hit. You can see much clearly. Yeah. I'd like to see Andrew try and put his foot on the gas here. You know, at the end of the last round, he showed that he can go through the gears. But he doesn't need to. This is good. Huge hooks from Antwi again, just bouncing off Cartwright. I just seen Cartwright trying to hold for the first time. And a sign that they're having an effect here. Another big hook there from Antwi. He 
get tangled a little bit there. Is that heart right gas tank just starting to empty a little bit here? Well, Cat, Cat, Big Cat, his biggest problem is, is his inability to, to avoid shots. He's blocked shots, but he doesn't move his head, he doesn't slip any punches. And he's tough enough to take his licks and come forward, but that has an accumulated effect as the rounds go by. That's just good work here from Anthony. There's only so many of those you can take. As you say, the effect is a cumulative one. Eventually it wears you down. Nice, nice little fade down, volley through from Antwi. Boxing really well. High class this from Antwi. Just jumped in a lovely little cheeky left so hook. But again, he was so accurate in that round. The movement, the flow in his punches. He, he, he had a really good round. In a hard fight when he's, been, he's meant to be tiring, he found the energy round to skip nine. round the ring. Planned his feet and that was some good quality shots. And if you're in that cart right corner, George, you're starting to look closely at your fighter, do you think? I think so, Dave, I think. It's an uphill battle. I haven't gave, given him a round. And he is consistently taking heavy shots. He's a tough man for sure. But if he ain't got a chance of turning this round, you might be thinking about pulling it. What about you, Barry? Yeah, I think so. The, the problem you have it, if this is a world title fight, you probably, we probably wouldn't be thinking on that vein, or maybe we would. But to these guys, this might be their world title shot. You know, you know it's, it's the biggest fight of their career, so you, know, you, you want to give a fighter every opportunity, but I, it's very difficult to see how he makes a dent in, in Antwi now. It really is. So yeah, I would be thinking that, you know, you give him the best opportunity you can to try and turn the fight round. And he's dug in and he's brave and he's, and he's tough. And, he, and, no, he's, and he's not getting battered in any round. But in stage he's taking heavy shots and then that last round, that's the, the, the clearest round he's lost, I felt. Yeah, that's going to be the pattern. And we are still only in round nine. And he might be too brave for his own good, but hard right pushing forward. Do you know what? He had a bit, he had a bit of work then. He's had some good work then, Cartwright. And as he went to throw again, cleverly answered, used that shoulder illegally and pushed him off with it. If you get away with it, you can use it. But just stop the flow of little Cartwright's work. A better round for Cartwright so far, but still the quality is from Antwi. But, but I would say, I'm, a dead, I'm, dead, I'm, I'm scared to say it now, I'm just going to turn it wrong. We haven't seen Cartwright seriously hurt or, or wobble for a long time. That was early in the fight, wasn't it? Again, the accuracy of the world just letting Cartwright down a little bit here, but Antri... Not fleet, not fleet footed or anything, but loose with his work. And the angles he's throwing from as well, just giving him the advantage here. And that right hook to the body from Antwi, and he's looking for a final flurry to end the round. Part right landed a shot that looked low. Pushed Antwi back. And Antwi just couldn't miss with that right hand as Cartwright fell into it. Pushes him back. Great finish to the round. In that previous Ten round. Seconds, corners. Yeah. He's part right pushing, and I gave him that last round. So I thought just, he just landed a few more punches. But more so where Andrew just sort of took his foot off the gas rather than a change in the tide for me. I mean, Cartwright's still in there, he's, he's, and he, he's still got that puncher's chance. He might only be a, a good, solid combination away from swinging this fight back in his favour. Certainly needs a stoppage now on my cards, but... Cartwright does have eight knockouts on his record, actually seven. It's hard to see 
Can't write finding it, a single shot, but you never know. You never know in this sport. Yeah, I'm at a decent start to this one as well here, Catwood. This way, anyway, the bigger man. when he just gets it up the lower there and jumps out of the crunch. How much more effective he is here. Can't wait. Good jamming from Carl, right? Just needs a flow in now a little bit from the entry. Have a little walk around, think, take a rest, and then explode with a three punch combination and take it to create some space. Get your energy back again and then go again. Good shot from Anthony. Waited for the mistake, didn't he? Yeah, lovely jab there from Catwood. He's got a throw when he's in that position now. This one. He needs to get that concentration. Getting that foot there from Catwell. Lovely that foot. He has to keep that concentration. Oh, and his legs looked unsteady for a moment there. Cartwright has to try and put it all on the line here now. Great double jab there from Cartwright. These are his best moments of the fight. Can't respond and Milligan actually with the same vigor that he has in the in the other round. But in the by now in, in previous rounds he could be flurrying with the actors he's gone along with here and can't really have a bit of success in working off it. What a night we've had here on Channel 5, one of the very best. Can Cartwright keep up the momentum? Again, he doubles up that jab. He's got a jab low, Cartwright, and throw the right hand over the top. So you've got to sit down with the jab, make it obvious he's going to the belly, and then win that right hand over the top. Slide that front foot in close. Get inside those long levers there of, uh, of Antry. Also, Barry, every time Cartwright targets the body, Antry comes up right, the chin comes up. So if he attacks the body and then tries yeah. to switch it up and follow with the head. He's already showed he's had success with that left hook. Good work again there from Cartwright. There's the left hook that George was talking about right on cue. But Antry responds now. So on the physical of the sport it is, how mental it is. Right hand there again from Cartwright. Some of that found a way through, but Antry responding. Look at this as they stand and exchange. It's a lovely work there from Cartwright. Keeping his shape through all this. Hands I have kept it nice and tight. He lets the head move, but he keeps his hands up well. Punches direct and straight. Cartwright still believes in there, but Antwi still terrifically accurate. Cartwright looks for that uppercut. Accurate there being the right word, they the fire 
out who is the most accurate might find the winning punch. Big right hand from Andrew and then the left hook from Cartwright. This has been the story of the fight. They've exchanged quality shots all night. Yeah, Paul Clark on the left hook says, isn't it? Simultaneously. Some marks coming up on the left eye of Cartwright. Make a real push. Cartwright's just got to go for it. Listen, he's gone for it all night, you know, to be fair to him. But he, he just, he literally got to just keep, put point on the show that the hands go straight and long. He just keep throwing them. This is it now, this is what, hours upon hours of work in the gym. Technical work, fitness, everything comes down to this. Left hook there from Cartwright. And he looks for the big right hand over the top. Yeah, lands with it as well. He got comfortable, he is there, no care over the cross. Big booming uppercut from Cartwright. At the moment, he is winning this final round. Right hand though from Antri, but then a right hook from Cartwright again. Staggers Antri back. Oh, lovely jab there from Antri. When he looks off it. Under 90 seconds to go. Can either of these fighters produce something spectacular here? Looks like using that jab again here, Antwi. Can yeah. you get that right screw shot in the, in the play? Yeah, Antwi's fighting like he's been told this could be close. <laughs> Make sure you win this last round. He's feeling the pace of the fight. He's, up. He's not always able to keep his feet under him. Slipping and sliding a bit. Good work there off the ropes. A huge right hand there from Antwi. And that And Antwi stops him dramatically. Huge shot. Huge shot to win the title. And Mason Cartwright is down. And our thoughts instantly go to him. Antwi is the champion. The Cartwright, who's put everything on the line here, is getting attention there in the ring. So let's keep it subdued here, as Antri shows real class and goes over to Cartwright, but in the end, he found a spectacular finish there. Yeah, that first right hand. The right hand, I think the referee was just on the blind side. The right hand stunned him, he was done at that first shot. And then the second one hit him, the referee Tried to get, tried to get in there, but Andrew was just too fast with that third shot, which was the looked like the most damaging because he was already on his feet at that point. But the first right hand was a really heavy shot. Well, as you can see, Mason Cartwright able to sit up on the stool there. Adam Booth just leading the applause for him. What a brave effort that was, George. No, it really was, really, really was, and. A great finish from him in those in those final sort of championship rounds. Um, sickening really for him to get caught in like that in the in the final moments of of a terrific fight. But he found that power, and to, you know he, he was landing them them big shots, them big looking heavy shots throughout the night. But then as fighters tend to start getting tired, you know the shots had to have that much more of an effect. And the first right hand. Stiffened Cartwright's legs, and then he's 
he's just a, a sitting target then for the for the next. I think it's two that follows up. We've got to see the replay. But yeah, he looks okay on the stall. The doctors are in there with him. And here is the finish, Ferry. He catches him square. They, look at that, a short, short hook, puts all his body into it. Let, see the referee? Just couldn't get in quick enough. He tried to get in. You see it now, he swings the body across, steps on the outside. He's done this, more than stepping his legs, he's out. He was out from the first shot. Yeah, and he's got his back to the referee. It's, it's not... He can't see, he thinks we're used to say, He, he his can't legs. see, he's, he's, he's there. He, he's always yeah. got, yeah. And the referee just couldn't, he did his best referee to get in there quick before that last. To be fair, the referee, he tried to throw his body in, in front of the punch, just couldn't get there quick enough. But accuracy was the key for, for Andrew, I thought, throughout the fight, where they were both exchanging. He was more accurate than more heavy handed, but more accurate. That waned a little bit at the end, but he found the accuracy in those last three punches to finish the fight superbly. And we've yeah, got a really and still we look down, Sorry, Barry, still we look at uh, Mason Cartwright. They're taking their time with him, of course, but. Yeah, in the end, it is uh, the night for Sam Antwi, when he fought Echo Essendon for the welterweight title. He uh, was told in the corner he was ahead, and he sort of took his foot off the gas, but it was quite the opposite there. But, do you know what? Like, we praise Matt Mason Cameron for his toughness, because he was the one on the receiving end in, in, in most of the fight, even though they, were, they weren't dramatically getting back, he was just losing the rounds, I thought. But what about the toughness of Antwi? Like, you've got a guy non-stop, he's hitting him with big shots, accuracy, and he keeps coming at him constantly, constantly coming at you. And that can psychologically and physically drain you mentally. It drains you. But Andrew just kept his composure throughout. He was an orthodox with his shot, but he was effective with it. And, and he did tire. He tired on the stretch a little bit, but found enough energy for a, what that, that was as, as quality a finish as you'll find, to be fair. At this stage of a fight, when you're absolutely exhausted, he finds three, three of his best punches of the night. Well, thankfully, Mason Cartwright, of course, there are checks to come, but he, he looks significantly better now. He remains down on the stool, but we can get to our MC Paul booth to make everything official here. Ladies and gentlemen here in Bolton, a show of boxing respect and appreciation for two professional boxers in the ring doing what they do best, Mason Cartwright and Samuel Antre. The official end of the contest falls at 2 minutes 25 seconds of round number 12. Mark Lyson, our referee, stops the bout. The official decision is a TKO. He leaves the ring this evening as the new British Super Welterweight Champion, the true sensation, Samuel Antwi! So Samuel Antwi is the British champion, what a night for him, what a night of boxing we've had as well.